Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the kids are asleep and it is late at night, but I'm gonna do a quick little haul for you guys. I shopped online at H&M the other day. The last time that I shopped at H&M for the kids, I was very impressed, so I wanted to buy them a couple pieces. So I got stuff for Riley and for Jackson. I've got like their little piles here, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got them. I really got them more like transitional pieces, so like not super springy stuff, but like not super winter like this weird in between time frame which is like right now that's kind of what i shopped for especially like for us here in virginia it's still gonna be freaking cold we're still gonna be freezing our butts off for quite some time so this is stuff that'll still keep them warm but also like looks kind of more like for spring i don't know if that makes any sense i also got myself a few pieces so once i'm done showing you what i got for the kids i'll go in front of the mirror and i'll try that stuff on for you guys i hope that you guys enjoy this haul everything that i can find for you guys will be linked in the description box so let's get started for riley i got her this super cute little it says brave and curious is that what it says yeah brave and curious this very much is my daughter and i love this color like you're gonna see this color a lot like this kind of like sagey green it's also like the color that i'm wearing on my nails i'm very into that color right now i feel like it's a great transitional color because it's still very springy but in a long sleeve sweater like this it still will keep her warm for a bit so i got this one it has like the little ruffles on it and i just thought it was super cute you guys are gonna ask me about sizing so i'm gonna tell you that for riley almost everything that i got her i got her in a 4t or like online when you go online it's like three to four years or three t to four t the tag says 4t and i did try most of this stuff on her and i'm gonna tell you that h&m at least for the kids does seem to run a little bit bigger so nothing that I got her fits her like super tight. Everything's a little bit more oversized and I think it's okay. Like I'm going to keep the stuff that I got for her because I feel like she's going to get more use out of it. I haven't washed it yet. So maybe when I wash this stuff, it'll shrink a little bit, but I think I prefer it that way than to like buy her the two to three T and then, you know, she can wear it like two times and then she's outgrown it because she is growing like really fast these days. So that's the size that I got righty. And for Jackson, I got everything for him in 12 to 18 months. And I'll let you guys know how that stuff fits when we get to his stuff. So I got her that sweater. This set you guys may have seen before or not this same print, but Riley has this same set. I bought it for her last time that I shopped at H&M in like the little like mint color with like the stars and then she has a pink one with white polka dot. These little sets are probably the things that she wears the most often just because they're so easy to throw on together and then I can just pair it with a sneaker. So I like this color, you know, like a neutral little taupey set for her. Just so you know, like the prices of everything that I got were very reasonable. I also got everything when it was like 15% off. So I was very pleased with what I spent on this stuff. Next Next up for Riley, I got her this, um, I guess, it, I don't know, it could be like a lounge set, but I'm gonna have her wear it more as a pajama. I mean, here in the house, like she, you know, pajamas, lounge wear, it's the same exact thing. But I thought this one was adorable. It's like that green color with these black polka dots, and then these are the pants that go with it. It also is like a little bit ribbed. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got that detail. I've been trying to find these like sets for Riley, like the PJs that are the top and the bottom more for Riley because almost all of Riley's pajamas are like the zip up footy pajamas. But now that Riley's potty trained, that zipper situation is not good for like pulling down her pants and stuff and getting her on the potty. So we needed more of these kind of PJs. So this one I thought was just super cute. Next thing that I got for Riley were these leggings. I just thought the print was adorable. I really like the color. Again, these are 4T, so they are a little bit big on her, but I found that like if I roll them up, you know, like on the waist, like a couple times, it brings them up a little bit and they fit her just fine. These were also like four something Thing. I don't even think I paid five dollars for these and I want to say that they had them in different colors and a lot of the things that I did get they have different um like color options so if you see anything here that you kind of like but maybe you want to see like what other colors they have click on the link because I was like impressed that they had different colors to choose from and that is the case with the next thing that I'm going to show you so when I did my target shop with me I don't know if you remember if you watched that video but I told you that I've been looking for more leggings for Riley because she has like a bunch of joggers and like those set pants like the pants that come with those sets but leggings she seems to not have many of so I got this set of five leggings and it was like $21 for all five leggings so this set came with these colors there's like a gray and then a plain black which I think is awesome because you always need a pair of black leggings for them. And then this print and this one also that's a little bit darker with some little dots there. And that sage green color with the black dots. So that was this set of five. I want to say that they had another set that had like some pinks in here. Like that might be a little bit more for spring. But I thought that these were like neutral enough that she can wear with a lot of the stuff that she has. But they're kind of fun too. And like I said, you know, like they're kind of that transition between 
winter and spring so i thought that these were really nice and then i got her these shirts which i really like them and they're very different than anything that she has so it is a set of three shirts and again they have this same set of three in like a different color variety which i believe has more like spring colors but these are really interesting because Again, like I don't think I've seen a shirt like that. Like they've got the little ruffle or I don't even know what you would call this along the collar and then also on the sleeves. But they're not like a cotton. They're like stretchy almost. And I don't even know what material that is. Does it? Okay, so it is cotton. It says 95% cotton, 5% spandex. So I guess that's what makes it stretchy but it's a very nice material i think that you know i would like to wear shirts like this i wish they had them in my size so she has that print and then that sage green color that we talked about and then this one that's like the taupe with like some stripes so these are good layering pieces that she can still wear now with like sweaters on top when it's really cold but then as it gets warmer towards spring she can kind of not wear a jacket anymore and then just kind of wear these she can wear them with leggings with jeans with shorts even depending on how cold it is whatever then the last thing that i got her is like a spring dress and i got it because i don't even think i paid five dollars for this one either it was like 4.99 and it's this little spring dress and it's got the little bunny rabbits and they had one that was so cute. It was like mustard yellow, I believe, with like little polka dots. So if you don't like the whole bunny thing, then you can definitely go look at the other prints. Sorry, the camera like wants to only focus on my face and not on the dress, but it's got the bunnies and I bought this just for Riley so that I could take like some really pretty Easter photos of her. For four bucks, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get that. So that's what I got Riley. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I got Jackson. So the first thing I got him was so cute. It's this set and this one, like I told you already, it's 12 to 18 months. Everything that I got here is 12 to 18 months. This one I would say is very much more oversized than some of the other stuff that he got so it does fit him very oversized but he'll grow into it and i just like the color combination like i thought it was still fun but it was also still like very masculine and i don't know i just thought it was like very very cute for like a little boy so i think he'll get some use out of it i think he's gonna look like a cool kid and then he has like some black nikes that he can wear these with that my dad got him so that's gonna be a really nice little outfit for him and then i did get him a bathing suit so this is like one thing that i got him because when i went to target the other day i didn't find a whole lot of bathing suits that i liked for boys so i saw this one and it was 19.99 i want to say fits him perfect and i think it's so cute it's got the rash guard so he's not going to get burned and it's just like a really good quality bathing suit very impressed with this then kind of like similar to riley i've been trying to find jackson some pajamas that aren't the footy pajamas so that way since like we're practicing his walking and stuff like i want his feet to not be in the little footy pajamas so that he can feel more like stable on the floor so i've been looking for more two-piece pajamas for him or like the zip up ones that don't have the feet so i found this little set and they had other color options for this one too and this one is just really really sweet so this is the top it has like little christmas trees on it so i don't know it's got like a little touch of winter but it's also like that light color so it's again i think like a good transitional piece and then these are the pants that go with it it's just crazy because this one is 12 to 18 months and the tag actually says 18 months and this one fits him super snug so like these tighter fitting pieces they fit him perfect it's more of like this kind of stuff like the jogger sets and stuff that seem to be huge so i wish that i could tell you like everything runs oversized or you know size down one and everything so i am still working on like getting the hang of the sizing there but this set for sure if i would have gotten him the size down like i don't think it would have fit him so he's got this little pj so then i got him these joggers he's kind of running out of like joggers that he can wear on a daily basis because i got him a pair of like 12 month joggers or i think they're 9 to 12 months like fleece little like pants but he's starting to outgrow those so i thought that these would be perfect because they're that cream color they're gonna match with a bunch of stuff and i just like the cute little bear detail i'm a sucker for stuff like that it does have a pocket in the back and they are very warm so he's gonna be able to use them now while it's colder because they're fleece lined so I thought that these were really nice. And then the last thing that I got Jackson are these sets and I'm obsessed with them. I think that they like, they're probably one of my favorite things that I got for him. I am gonna use them like pajamas. So these are the tops. So like little stretchy kind of t-shirts. I don't know if you can see that. And then they have like the matching bottoms. The only thing is that you have to buy the tops and the bottoms separately. So it came in a pack of two tops. So you got this top and this top. And I think the two tops were like $15. And then you buy the pants separately too. So it came in a pack of two pants. So I tried these on him. They look adorable on him and they fit him perfectly. So again, not super oversized. These are much snugger of a fit. These are going to be great just for sleeping in and for him lounging around the house. So he's got two little PJs like that. And I just like love these colors, right? Like, do you guys like these colors? Like I love the creams and this, like this bluish seafood 
seafoam greenish color like i don't even know what you would call this but it is so pretty along with like that sagey green i don't know i'm like very into that these days so that's what i got the kids now i'm gonna take you guys off the tripod i'm gonna try on the things that i got for myself okay so first thing that i got myself is this top the jeans that i'm wearing are from shein i've shared them in my shein haul so if they still have them, I will link them just because like I love these jeans. I wear them all the time now. They're more of like that mom jean, you know, Generation Z kind of jean. Like when I'm trying to feel cool, these are the jeans that I put on. But from H&M, I got this like long sleeve crop top. It is very out of my element, you guys. I got it because yellow is supposed to be like a very trendy color this season. And I was like, you know what, let's just do it. Let's try to like be a little bit cool. And I think it's just fun. And it's got like ruching on the side and it's got like the bow, which I think is very trendy because like all of the boutiques that i've been looking at lately like they have like shirts that have like bows and stuff and also like the dresses that have the bows but anyway a fun little crop tee i got this one in a small maybe if i got a medium it wouldn't be like super tight definitely very cropped because these jeans are super high-waisted so like my belly button is like right there but i think it's fun i also have like a pair of cream colored joggers that i can wear it with and you know just something a little bit different so next is this sweater this sweater is my favorite thing that i bought it is so soft and i'm pretty sure i've said that about a million sweaters that i have bought but this one is really really soft it's a little longer um but you can kind of tuck it in in the front if that's more of the look that you're going for it's got like this little triangle cut out on the side so it is long enough that maybe you could wear it with leggings it covers your butt but again big fan of the color they also have in a couple other colors i think they had it like in cream which is like the color that normally i get everything in but i was like let me be a little bit more adventurous and go with this color that i really like okay so next up when i saw this sweater online i fell in love with it because it's a plain old sweater but it's got the padded shoulders and i just thought that it was like the coolest thing like i hadn't seen something like that with the shoulder pads like tell me that that's not like a cool thing however not a thousand percent sure that i'm going to keep it because in person the shoulder pad you can kind of like see it it's like a little bit see-through so i'm not sure if i like the fact that like I don't know that you can kind of see that like that i'm not even sure if it's going to come off on camera but i don't know it's different it's different it's something that's a little bit edgier and if i want to be in a sweater but i want to feel a little bit more edgy i think it's pretty cool they did have it in a gray which is why i wanted to show you because like maybe this one is a little bit more see-through but they also have it in a gray color but i do think that it's really fun so I'm going to give it a little bit of time. I just got the package in today, so I'll kind of like sleep on it and then decide if I'm going to return it. But I thought that that was like a cool little detail for a sweater. Okay, so hear me out. I got this super oversized t-shirt and honestly, I love it. And it's a small, just so you can see, like it's intentionally oversized. I think it's another just very cool kind of look. I can wear it long. I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like with biker shorts because I think that'll be something that like you'll see a lot of in spring but before i do that i just want you to see like the quality of this t-shirt is amazing it's very um like heavy material not like uncomfortable heavy but it is much more like weighted than like the target oversized ones i just got some from target like the oversized boyfriend's shirts i do like them they're soft but they're not as like good quality heavier material like this one so i like this i can kind of tuck it in i can kind of play around with how i tuck it i could also probably tie it in the front i'll show you guys how i tie it but i do like this like very boxy like i stole joe's t-shirt kind of look so this one i definitely recommend and i think it was like 12 dollars if i'm not mistaken let me show you guys what it looks like with biker shorts so that's with biker shorts and i know that this isn't everybody's jam like this isn't everybody's vibe but i'm into like comfy like lounge around my house be comfy chase around the kids but still look somewhat trendy and cute occasionally other times i look like a grandma these are just some biker shorts that i got from amazon last season and i think that this shirt is like the perfect length to pair with some biker shorts like that because covers your butt and i don't know maybe you wear it with like the thing that a lot of people wear which is like the little fanny pack things around your chest like have you guys seen that like, like i haven't done that before but i've seen so many like um of like the bloggers that i follow like wear the little fanny pack thing and i'm like okay i guess that's a trend now too okay so the next thing that i got were these joggers and i love them the shirt is from target from last year and it's just like a plain basic white tee that i knotted in the front but the joggers i just think they're super comfy i love the color again it's like my favorite color right now for springtime what i do think is really cool about these joggers is that there is drawstring and i don't know how i'm going to be able to show you there's drawstring but the drawstring is inside i think that's pretty cool because normally like when you have joggers you've got like all the ties in the front these just have like the elastic and they're kind of hidden in there which i think is very cool it's got really big deep pockets so yeah i love them i think they're very different they're a little bit 
bigger, a little bit baggier, a little bit more balloonish, but I think, I don't know, I think that's like where we're supposed to be going. I think that's the direction where we're supposed to be going. Apparently, like the skinny stuff is out. We, everything's got to be like super baggy and loose so that you can, I don't know, do this. <laughs> yeah, super soft for joggers and I'll be wearing these a ton. Okay, you guys, so these jeans, I am so mad about these jeans, okay? Because I love them. I love these jeans, but they do not fit me, okay? Like, I'm gonna show you right now. I am bursting out of the seams. I put them on just to show you what they maybe could have looked like, but I, I, I do not fit in this. This is a size two, and I very much needed, at the very least, a size four, maybe a size six. What what on what on earth this is is not good like I think I pulled a muscle trying to get into them But they are the cutest the cutest like mom jeans for like $19.99. I loved the wash I think that they would have looked so cute on the butt, but I can't I can't even breathe So I am gonna sadly have to return them. Oh my god Let me open up the button. Okay, and I went to see if they had them in a size four or six and right now They're sold out so I put my email address so I could be notified if they come back But if they come back, I'm gonna buy them in probably a four and a six to see which size fits me But they were so stinking cute and they look super expensive like they look very similar to the Levi's that I have But yeah, I, I can they do not fit me and I'm getting the biggest wedgie. Okay, so this is far more comfortable this is a pajama, you guys. This is not something that I would walk around in different places wearing. I'll tell you guys why I bought this. I bought this because I am the kind of person that for my pajamas, I like for my pajamas to have pants. I'm not really a big shorts pajama kind of person. But if you look at all the spring pajamas, normally they're shorts. Or the other option is you have like long sleeve pajama tops with the long sleeve pants. So I found this one that's the pants and the short sleeve top and I figured that I would pick it up because I don't have any like this. So just a comfy little pajama. I cannot tell for the life of me in person if these polka dots are like a very light pink or if they're white. I don't know if I'm just having problems with my eyeballs or whatnot. You tell me if they look pink, light pink or just like plain old white, but they're cute enough. It's like a very dark gray color the pajamas the pants are pretty high-waisted and there's no drawstring whatsoever there's no buttons there's nothing there's just like a very comfortable elastic here so just really comfy PJ pants and if I don't want to wear the top that day I can wear it with a different shirt I can kind of use these just as lounge pants too but very breathable very comfy for sleep time and that my friends is it that's everything that I got so let me know what you guys thought let me know what you guys are shopping for right now are you guys looking already for spring stuff are you guys starting to look for like short little dresses and tank tops like are you into that already or are you still like you know freezing your butt cheeks and you need stuff to keep you warm as a whole I still love H&M it's just I was really upset that like those jeans did not work for me if those jeans would have been perfectly fit i would have been so happy so i'm gonna have to send those back and i know that returns i think they charge you like 5.99 um for returns so i'll send those pants back see if i order them again but let me know what you guys thought let me know if there was anything that like jumped out at you that you really like still feel like they have really good pieces for kids at good prices and a lot of basics too like the kids are still wearing their sweatshirts that i got them like when i started shopping for winter like those solid colored um sweatshirts that i got them they wear those all the time but they have a lot of just basics neutral colors like solid color stuff that you can mix and match and get a lot of use out of so yeah overall very impressed still with h&m i will be buying from them again and that is it you guys i am done i'm gonna go relax the rest of the Night, but thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I love you guys to pieces Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys